Lionsgate and Guy Ritchie have come together for this new film called The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I'm going to take a look at this first official trailer for it next. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks so much for clicking play on this trailer reaction here for the first official trailer for The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, this new film from Lionsgate and director Guy Ritchie, one of my favorite directors working today. Really enjoying Guy Ritchie spreading his wings past the underworld British gangster films that he's done, and over the last few years, seeing him do stuff like Aladdin, Wrath of Man, uh, and uh, recently The Covenant, which is one of my favorite films from the recent few years here with him and Jake Gyllenhaal working together. Well, this one is a British film. Film, but not necessarily a British gangster film. This one's based on the book The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, how Churchill's secret warriors set Europe ablaze and gave birth to modern black ops. So interesting book title for sure, very long. So I'm curious to see what we're going to get. This is basically the synopsis. It's an action comedy that tells the story of the first ever special forces organization, the top secret combat unit composed of a motley crew of rogues and mavericks, including James Bond author Ian Fleming, go on a daring mission against the Nazis. And I'll just leave it at that. This one stars Henry Cavill, Isaac Gonzalez, Alan Richson, Alex Pettifer. Some of you remember Alex. Alex Till Schweiger with Henry Golding and Carrie Elway. So let's take a look at this first official trailer for this one and see what we got here from Lionsgate and Guy Ritchie. <laughs> I love it. Gus March Phillips, I have a mission I want you to lead. Thank you, Sergeant. Ah, uh, Kerry. Okay, right. What's the plan? To neutralize the German U-boats in the North Atlantic. We're losing the war. Hitler is not playing by the rules, so neither are we. Ah, here's the Churchill. We both know that I'm not very popular with the administration. Mm. The reason they find you unattractive is the very reason I find you attractive. Very cool already. Time to do this, I'll need my own team. There we go. You won't like them. They're all... No! Mad. <laughs> They'll need to be. Yeah, I've got to use Queen, man. This Everyone is an the... unsanctioned, unauthorized Another one. mission. Oh, yeah. If we fail, England will be condemned to a lifetime under the German There's boot. Still. Ooh. Hey, hey! So I said, that is not a dog. That is my wife! <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. Oh! It's like a Quentin Tarantino uh, vibe here from Glorious Bastards. Are we seeing Richardson with an English accent? Show it to me! Operation are reckless. Abort this mission now. Hello, can't hear you. Please do off. Oh. <gasps> hey. All right. Uh, I like that one. That was uh, pretty badass, honestly. Uh, and I enjoyed seeing uh, Henry Cavill leading this crew. I mean, a little slight Bond-esque vibe to him, kind of given that uh, uh, maybe a little bit of a, a slight audition for the role, hopefully some point down the road. Uh, of course, he's worked with Guy Ritchie before in Man From U.N.C.L.E., which is quietly a damn good film, uh, and he's damn good in it. So uh, nice to see this here, leading this great cast uh, and fun cast in what looks to be, like it has shades of Inglorious Bastards, it has shades of like, Force 10 from Navarone, which is, of course, a little bit more of a serious film, but a World War II film about going after the Nazis. And hell, you can't make enough film about trying to destroy the Nazis, for God's sakes. Uh, so I'm a big fan of seeing that. I like the way the action is drawn out here. Pretty violent, pretty brutal stuff here. The kills, bloody as hell. So we're seeing Guy Ritchie really kind of going that route like we saw in Wrath of Man, which was a much more of a, much more of a brutal action film, if you saw that one with Jason Statham. So certainly keeping that vibe here, but maintaining the comedy as we saw for the beginning in these interactions between Henry Cavill and Carrie Elwes, him putting his team together. No one really says anything except for maybe a couple of people, but in terms of his crew, so I was surprised we didn't get any Isaac Gonzalez dialogue, we didn't get any Alan Richardson dialogue, so I was hoping to get something from him 
if he's doing a British accent. I want to see if Alan can do that. But cl clearly, the, the funny moments here are where they're killing the Nazis, and the Nazis telling jokes and getting killed. So that's what you're indulging here right off the bat, the trailer focusing on that. So I'm sure there's going to be more going on. I'm sure there's going to be intrigue, maybe a spy within their ranks, or what have you. And we, I don't think we saw much of, the, of Ian Fleming who I think is being played by the guy from Slow Horses, um, who I kind of like in that uh, in that show as well. Freddie Fox, yeah, he done a nice job as an asshole in uh, Slow Horses. So it's gonna be good to see that. But uh, I don't, I, I might have missed Henry Golding in this, and it's great to see Babs in this because I'm such a fan of Star Trek: Strange New World. So seeing him being a part of this crew is a lot of fun as well. So across the board, this looks like this looks like a lot of fun, a great time, a World War II uh, indulge in killing the Nazis type movie. So I'm a hundred percent in. What did you all think? Did you like it? Did you like this vibe, this approach, uh, the trailer? You using another one bites the dust from queen did you enjoy that kind of the scope of this one as well let me know what you thought or did anything kind of make you go eh, i'm not sure if this one's for me let me know down in the comment section below hit a like on this video share it on your social media and hey more than anything else please subscribe to the channel down below hit that subscribe button hit that bell button so you see we're dropping all the content we do here you know recently i did trailer reactions for ghostbusters the frozen empire the new one that came out yesterday and then also monkey man if you haven't seen my monkey man trailer reaction that one's speeding its way to twenty thousand of views so go and take a look at that one that film looks uh, like a lot of fun like this one so uh, all right well thanks so much for watching this trailer reaction and i'll talk to you next time with another brand new video here on the outlaw nation <laughs>